Every day, over 100 trucks collect raw sewage from across the city, and they bring them here, ironically called Lavender Hill. They dump them directly into the ocean. The stench is terrible. Uh, it's, it's, it's so bad that you can hardly breathe. Down the road, we are doing things differently. Every morning, we take about 40 trucks. Yeah, we, are, we, are, we are hopeful that very soon, uh, when we have all the infrastructure in place, uh, we'll be able to treat all the sludge that comes from the Accra city uh, to be treated. It will no longer be in the ocean. We take raw uh, sewage and we dewater it. We separate the water from the solids. We clean the water and then we dry the solids and that then becomes a resource. Now we're looking at resource recovery. And if you recycle it, there's a value. This is dried feces. This is coming right after we have treated it. So after we dry the feces, we fill it into a barrel, as you are seeing now, then we burn it. So we, we are burning it to turn it into charcoal. After it's burned, this is what you have. That is charcoal. Uh, we grind it to powder. We use cassava flour as a binding agent and bind it together, put it into a press, and press it out into very nice charcoal shapes for domestic cooking. We are using what's called appropriate technology. Africa is Africa with its own difficulties. You see here yourself, sun, wind, maintenance is a problem. So we're always trying to break it down to the most basic components and create a system that can work in the long run. So we've seen how it is made, and now I've come to a nearby community down the road to find out if the charcoal works, and also whether the people are bothered about what it is made of. Okay. Okay. This charcoal from uh, raw sewage is, is going to help solve the issue of uh, deforestation in Ghana, which is a huge problem. People are going to use less charcoal that is made from wood, which, which of course is coming from the forest. We, we hope that in the near future, this uh, product charcoal from raw sewer will set an example for other African countries to follow.